Listen, listen, and listen once again. What's up, 23% Nation? This is your man, Coach D. Today, I want to welcome you to the Success Saturday video series. Here, we discuss exactly how to be successful while on the 23% Challenge meal plan. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive just a little deeper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 23% Nation, here's what I have for you today. Not one, but two objectives. Number one is short term. Number two is long term. Now, when we talk about the short term objective, basically it's Coach D's tip. A little bit of help, a little bit of guidance, a little bit of did you know. Now, my second objective is rather large. That's why it is my long term objective, which is to save one million animals. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and discuss it. All right. So for today's video, my short term objective, which is Coach D's tip, is to listen to Dr. Terry Mason. I'll say his name once again. Listen to Dr. Terry Mason. Now, before we dive into what Dr. Mason said, let's answer two very important questions. Number one, who is Dr. Terry Mason? And number two, what in the world did he say? <laughs> so guys, please listen on. All right, first off, who is Dr. Terry Mason? Well, guys, I'm happy to say that he is a board certified urologist. Now, for those of us that may be a little perplexed by the word urologist, basically what that means is that Dr. Terry Mason is a medical doctor who specializes in male reproductive organs and male fertility. So fellas, this is important for you. Also, Dr. Terry Mason is from the great city of Chicago, plus he was featured in the movie Forks Over Knives. That's how I found out about him. And by the way, if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend you watch it. That way you can get to see, or shall I say, listen to what Dr. Terry Mason says firsthand. So now that we know who Dr. Terry Mason is, let's find out exactly what he said that way i can substantiate why you should listen to him so here we go guys in the movie forks over knives dr terry mason is quoted as saying if it walked hopped swam crawled slithered had eyes a mom and a dad don't eat it in other words eat more plants <laughs> now let's dive into coach d's long-term objective right which is which is to save one million animals well guys i recently did a little bit of research and i came across an amazing website it's called vegancalculator.com right now here's what they say they say that eating a 100% plant-based diet for seven days saves seven animals. That's right. I'll say it once again. If you eat a strictly plant-based diet, right, for only seven days, or we can say one week, guess what? You're going to save seven animals. Yes. Now, if you are a little doubtful, right, don't worry. Don't fret. I'm providing you with a direct link to vegancalculator.com in the description box. So please click on it if you like. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, all right, Coach D, I get it. If I eat a plant-based diet for seven days, I'll save seven animals. Well, that's not such a bad idea. But what I really want to know is what type of animals am I saving? 
Well, guys, the answer to that question is you're going to be saving two different types of animals. Number one, are the animals that we eat for food, meaning the cows, the pigs, the chickens, the fish, shrimp, crab, lobster, the bunnies, the lambs, the goats, right? Now, the second type of animal that we're looking to save are those animals whose natural habitats are destroyed due to animal agriculture, which basically has two parts. Number one is we have to raise more animals for food. And number two, we have to clear land so that these animals can actually have food to eat. That's right. Now, here's what we have to understand is that animal agriculture, unfortunately, is one of the biggest contributors to air pollution, water pollution, deforestation, decertification, and also species extinction, right? So at the end of the day, animal agriculture may not be what it's cracked up to be. Ladies and gentlemen, 23% nation, I need your help. Now, based on what Vegan Calculator says, seven days save seven animals eating a plant-based diet. Guys, I did the math. I need 145,000 people to do this just in a single month. That way we can save 1 million animals collectively. Now, here's something that you got to remember about the 23% Challenge meal plan is that number one, it's only seven days long, and number two, it's the first seven days of every month. So guess what? If I can get 145,000 people to do this with me every month, then guess what? By the end of the year, we're gonna save 12 million animals. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? Perfect. So for those of you who are interested in helping out Coach D, for those of you who are animal lovers, for those of you who absolutely adore planet Earth, guys, check it out. I have a gig on Fiverr.com, right? And that gig, if you do a quick search, it says, I will create a seven-day plant-based vegan meal plan. That's right, guys, specifically for you. Now, here's the great thing about my meal plan is that it's customized based on the plant foods that you already know and love and probably eat on a very regular basis. So if you are interested, and I hope you are, in my Fiverr gig, all you have to do is click on the description box. There is a direct link to my gig. So go ahead do yourself a favor, do planet Earth a favor, do the animals a huge favor. Click on the link, make the purchase, and I will help you customize your very own seven-day plant-based vegan meal plan. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. As always, let's eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. Now, this is your man, Coach D. I'm signing out, but please don't forget to use our three-word mantra. It's hashtag eat more plants. And if you love animals and Dr. Terry Mason as much as I do, then please subscribe. <laughs> as mentioned earlier, guys, my name is Coach D. I'm signing out. Always remember to take care. God bless and never, ever forget that Coach D loves you.